You will need IV start supplies, 1 liter IV solution with primary tubing, ordered medications with syringes, defibrillator pads, 5 lead cable with electrodes, nasal cannula with oxygen tubing, yonker suction with tubing, and a biphasic defibrillator with a crash card at bedside. First apply the five electrodes and connect leads to the defibrillator. Perform hand hygiene and apply clean gloves. Perform IV insertion and connect patient to IV solution at ordered rate or to keep vein open. Obtain 12 lead ECG. Prepare suction supplies at head of bed. Have ordered analgesic and sedative ready. Apply nasal cannula and connect to oxygen as per unit policy. Next, open and apply defibrillator pads. The pad with a heart is applied to the patient's left side and the one without is applied to the right side. Apply defibrillator pads in the anterior lateral or anterior posterior position. Next, turn on the defibrillator to the monitor setting. Press the sync button and ensure candling above the R wave is visualized. Call all necessary team members to the bedside as per unit policy and when ready, administer medications to the patient for sedation and pain control. Turn defibrillator to ordered dose of electricity, usually 150 to 200 joules for an average adult dose. Then press the charge button to charge the defibrillator with the selected energy. The person pressing the shock button needs to state, I'm clear, you're clear, we are all clear, and ensure everyone is clear of the patient. Next, press and hold the shock button until the shock is delivered. The patient may show muscle contractions during the shock. A brief period of asystole of a couple seconds may be seen before the patient is converted to normal sinus rhythm. Check for a femoral pulse and obtain vital signs. Obtain a post-conversion 12-lead ECG. Once the patient has recovered from the sedation and the physician has approved discharging, remove IV, leads, and all attached equipment, then provide patient education and complete documentation.